Hello everyone and welcome back to the next edition of the Holland Land Office Museum's Artifact Video Series. My name is Ryan Duffy, the director of the museum, and this week Tyler is going to point out uh, and talk about the importance and history of the oldest piece in our newest uh, exhibit, uh, which is this very interesting looking dress right next. Hi everyone, and we are back in the heavenly traditions and holy matrimony for this week again. Um, but we are kind of lower to the ground this time. Um, what I'm sitting right next to is actually the oldest piece in the exhibit currently, um, but also one of the oldest clothing pieces in our collection, um, in the clothing collection, I should say. Um, so this is a wedding gown from February 1832. Um, it was worn by Lucinda Cox, who married William Glyden. Um, they're from Orleans County, um, but this was donated before Orleans County um, established their historical society. Um, and William, we have found, has done a lot of work in Tennessee County when he was came here. So we're going to keep it here. Um, but it's a very striking gown because it is very blue for being as old as it, as it is. Um, and you wouldn't really think it's a wedding gown. It's definitely an example of a wedding gown that was bought to be reworn or refashioned, which this gown actually was at some point in the 1850s, 1860s. Um, the sleeves were redone um, with the black velvet piping around the cuffs, um, which is very indicative of the 1850s, early 1860s. Um, it's a very special piece, but sadly it has suffered greatly over time just due to the fabric. It's a very delicate silk and it has just deteriorated. Um, so it's not displayed as the other dresses are in the exhibit. It's stored in its archival box, um, propped up with its tissue paper. Um, we took the lid off and just kept it the way it was, um, but we wanted it to be part of the exhibit because it is a very special gown. Well, we hope you enjoyed this edition of the Artifact video series. Uh, if you did enjoy the video, be sure to give it a thumbs up or subscribe to the channel as it helps us out a little bit and gets you notified even quicker when we do release new videos. Uh, be sure to check out all the other videos on our channel as there's over 300 to choose from, so there's plenty of material to uh, spend your time learning more about the local history of Genesee County. But as always, the best way to learn about any of these artifacts or people or stories that we share is to stop by and see them for yourself at the museum. We can share even more information and you can see a lot of these artifacts up close and personal. And if you really do enjoy the local history of Genesee County and the Holland Purchase and want to support what we do here at the museum, the best way to do that is to become a member of the museum, which is as low as $25 for the year.